Okay, so put away your calculators and let's see how much basic math you actually understand. So here is the problem. We have 4 divided by 3 minus 5 in parentheses times 2. Okay, now if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain how to do this problem and also where a lot of people are going to go wrong. All right, so once again, we have 4 divided by 3 minus 5 in parentheses times 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is one of these numbers right here. Now, obviously, one number is right and the other number is wrong. And there could be, obviously, infinite, uh, infinite amount of wrong answers. But uh, probably the most common wrong answer is one of these numbers. Okay, so that's why I have it here. So if you see your answer, that is fantastic. So somebody did this right and somebody did this wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead and identify the correct answer. So if you answered with negative one, you did that wrong. The correct answer is indeed negative four. All right, so for those of you that did um, come up with negative one, you probably made the most common uh, mistake when it comes to the order of operations. And I'm glad you made that mistake because this uh, video is going to straighten out this confusion. And from this point forward, you're going to be looking like this person. But uh, if you got this right, we have to give you an A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of order of operations and uh, PEMDAS. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So here is our problem and uh, we need to understand something. And that is what is a mathematical operation? I'm saying the order of operations. But in mathematics, these things like this, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even uh, powers, these are things we can do with numbers. And these uh, things right here specifically are mathematical operators. In okay, case so we're talking about mathematical operations, and when we have a problem that has more than one type of operation, we need to know the correct order to do the problem. Because if we uh, just kind of randomly say, you know what, I want to kind of do multiplication first, and then I'll do addition, then maybe I'll go to division and back to multiplication. Well, depending on the uh, the order you take, okay, you can come up with all different sorts of values. Of course, there's only one correct uh, order, and that order is this acronym right here. This is effectively a checklist for us, and I'm going to go ahead and explain this right now. All right, so this checklist, PEMDAS, works from left to right. And uh, these letters stand for something. And before I explain to you what these letters stand uh, for, okay, let me give you a little memory aid here. And that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This uh, phrase and acronym has been around for years. Probably my great-great-grandparents were saying this way back in the good old days. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into uh, the correct order of operations right now. All right, so P, what does P stand for? P stands for parentheses, okay? And obviously we have some parentheses here, but a P also stands for uh, brackets or these kind of little squiggly brackets like this. Uh, really, P stands for grouping symbols, okay? So if you see numbers grouped together by parentheses, brackets, or squiggly brackets, this is, this is where we start. Now, something uh, about uh, parentheses, uh, if you have multiple sets of parentheses, you want to work from the innermost parentheses first, okay? All right, so we don't have that situation, but we definitely have parentheses. Now, let's move on to our next letter, which is E. Now, E stands for powers. So you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're saying powers, but uh, this is E. Why doesn't, you know, how come we don't have a P here if you're saying powers? Well, when we look at a power, something like 2 to the third power, this little number up here to the top right is something called an exponent. This big number down here is called the base, and this entire thing is referred to as the power. So E really stands for exponents, but you can think of it as uh, powers. Okay, so here is the most common uh, place of confusion when it comes to the order of operations, and it's with these letters right here, uh, particularly M and D. All right, so before I tell you that, let's just make sure you understand what M, D, A, and S stand for. M is multiplication, D is division, A is addition, S is subtraction. 
All right, now uh, most of you might be you know, thinking, well, if this is a checklist that goes from left to right, and this is where most people get themselves in trouble with the, with the order of operations, it's a checklist that goes from left to right, so I have to do multiplication first every single time. If I have both multiplication and division in a problem, I gotta do all the multiplication, then I move on to division, and then after that, I go on to addition and subtraction. This is not the way this works, okay? And I don't think that, uh, uh, if you got this wrong, I think a lot of um, uh, textbooks and uh, maybe some teachers don't emphasize this as much because again, this is a highly confused area. So let's go ahead and talk about how it actually works. Okay, so M and D and A and S are actually groups. So what you're going to do here with multiplication and division is you're going to do uh, multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. In other words, if I see division and then multiplication, I'm gonna do it this way. So my acronym could be DM, but if I have multiplication and then division, I'll do it this way. So you have to consider what's going on from left to right, and addition and subtraction work the same way. All right, so uh, this again is one of the, the most commonly uh, confused parts of the order of operations. And if you confuse this, this is why you came up with that negative one answer. Um, if you, as a matter of fact, let's just go back here. If you get, yes, if indeed, if you got negative one as your answer, it's probably because you confuse this part, but that's going to be easy to fix. Hopefully you're like, oh, okay, I see where I made my mistake. And that's fantastic. But let's go ahead and finish this problem up. Uh, of course, now that I explained the correct order of operations, if you didn't know it, Maybe you want to go ahead and try this problem all over again. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So what do we do first? Well, we are thinking to ourselves, uh, PEMDAS, all right? This guy's saying PEMDAS. What do I do first? It's just a checklist, right? So you ask, you ask yourself, do I have any parentheses? Yes, indeed, I have parentheses right here. So this is where we have to focus. Okay, we have to do this step uh, first. You have three minus five. Now, if you don't know your positive and negative numbers, well, then you may not have known the answer here. But uh, if you um, didn't understand that three minus five is a negative two, because that is the correct answer, uh, you might want to review some basic math. Let me give you a quick suggestion. You might want to check out my Math Foundations course. It's just a basic uh, kind of math boot camp. It's a small course. You'll find a link to it in the description below. But uh, anyways, three minus five is negative two. All right, so three minus five is the same thing as three plus negative five. All right, so hopefully you understand that. So this now is our problem. Okay, we have four divided by negative two uh, times positive two. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, this is where we have to be thinking about our PEMDAS again, right? So, okay, did I do uh, everything in parentheses? Yes, now all of those parentheses right here, there's nothing uh, left to do inside the parentheses. So this step is effectively done. Okay, E. Do I have any powers? Nope, I don't have any powers, no exponents there. Do I have multiplication and division? Yes, I do. Okay, what do I see first from left to right? Well, I see division before multiplication, so this is what we need to do first, okay? Now, if you looked at PEMDAS, you're like, okay, I gotta do multiplication next and then division, you would have done that, okay? And of course, you would end up with negative one. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. So here, we're going to be doing division, right? Because we just uh, talked about that. This is what we see first from left to right. So four divided by negative two, we're gonna get that answer, then multiply by two. Before we continue with the video, please take a quick second to help me out. So what I need you to do is to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my content reach as many people as possible on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you know when my latest videos are posted. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the video. Not much work to do here because we're just talking about basic division and multiplication. So 4 divided by negative 2, positive, uh, a positive number divided by a negative number is negative, so that's going to be negative 2 times a positive 2, which will give us negative 4 as the correct answer. But let's just do this problem wrong here, okay? Let's say we're just following the, 
order of operations, you know, uh, PEMDAS, the way we think we understand it. Okay. And again, I've been doing this for decades and decades, and most students are just kind of quickly going through this checklist. All right, I did parentheses. There's no powers. Now I'm going to do multiplication. So they just go right here. So if you were to do this, you would have what? Uh, 4 divided by negative 2 times 2. This is going to give us, let me do it right here, 4 divided by negative 2 times 2. That's negative 4. So 4 divided by negative 4 will give us a negative 1, which, of course, is not the correct answer of negative 4. That's why we have uh, the order of operations. But, you know, don't feel bad if you got this problem wrong because, again, this is a highly confused area. And this is why I make these uh, videos. Okay, I actually... Um, have made quite a few videos on this uh, particular topic. No, one other quick comment too. Some people, there is a little bit of a debate about, oh, you don't have to follow PEMDAS. The, that's not true. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, okay, 99.999% of math uh, books, math teachers teach and use the uh, order of operations as described by PEMDAS. If you use your calculator, okay, something like a TI-30, um, or any kind of scientific calculator, guess what? Your calculator is going to follow this order of operation. So, you know, um, uh, of course, I don't want to uh, deter you from believing something other than, you know, what you want to believe. But when it comes to mathematics in terms of what's taught, you know, middle school, high school, college, you got to know the correct order of operations as defined by PEMDAS. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.